Hello everyone, in this video we will learn about the salary component in the payroll module. So before going into creating a salary component in ERP Next, we will first understand what exactly salary component is. Now if you might have noticed any salary structure, you might have seen that it is basically made up of different components such as we have basic pay, we have home rent allowance and then we have health benefits along with different taxes. So basic pay and home rent allowance and all of this can be added into earning component and then we have another component such as deduction uh, which basically includes all of the taxes and other things so what happens is deduction is usually deducted from your entire salary now one thing to note is that salary component is really important if you want to create a salary structure no salary structure will exist without salary component so after you created a salary structure, um, you need to create a salary slip, which is again, you can say that salary structure is important to create a salary slip. So what we'll see is we'll see like what all different fields indicate in the salary component doc type. And apart from that, we'll also see um, two different type of components we have in ERP Next. One of them is general, that is a non-flexible benefit. And one of them is a flexible benefit um, type of salary component. So let's go to ERP next and then we'll see. So to go to salary component, you need to be in the payroll module. So over here and then you'll go into the salary component over here. So as you can see that these are all the different type of components present over here. So we have base pay, performance pay, health benefits over here. And then we also have professional tax where what else? Yeah, provident fund and all of that. All of this is present. So what I'll do is I'll create a new salary component so so that we can understand it in a better way. Now I'll let's say I am making a salary component as a basic pay. Okay, okay. So basic pay already exists. Mm, let me see base pay. Okay, base pay also already exists. Base pay one. Let's consider this. And you need to add the abbreviation. Now these abbreviations are really important. So they are really important because uh, when you will be using condition and formula so at that time you might need to access this particular component so you can use abbreviation to do so and here you can specify what is this uh, salary component um, type of like if it is earning or deduction now like we discussed before like if it is a deduction what will happen is that any amount we specify here will be deducted like let's say I'm specifying 1000 and I'm adding it into a salary structure this salary component uh, what will happen is this much amount will be deducted from the total salary amount okay and here I'll just uh, write a brief description about what it is so let's say basic pay this is a basic pay okay and I will will be con mainly now I what I'll do is I'll make an earning component okay and for deduction we can just go and see other deduction components that are there so let's see what all this uh, different checkboxes over here means so one we have is a depend on payment days. So if I enable this particular checkbox, what will happen is the salary component will be calculated based on the number of working days. So when we will be learning about um, salary structure creation, at that time you will understand this one um, in a more better and a crisp way. Okay, next we have is, is tax ap applicable. So it allows tax to be applied to this particular salary component. Okay, and then we can also check this one. Now most of them are self self explanatory. So let's say if I check this and if this particular component is added in additional salary. So we also have an additional salary. Let me just um, show it to you. I'll go to additional salary. So we also have an additional salary list, which I'll, I feel like I need to make a separate video about it. So additional salary is basically it includes different components, uh, different salary components, uh, such as let's say if somebody is working overtime and if somebody, if you want to do a leave encashment for them, so for them you need to create an additional salary. That's how it is. Uh, for now it's not of that much of importance. So what happens is um, if checked and it is used in additional salary, the tax amount applicable uh, will be deducted on the specific payroll month. Okay. So for now what I'll do is I'll keep it unchecked since it won't be affecting much now next one is round to the nearest integer so let's say I am uh, I'm using this amount based on formula okay and I have added some formula over here and uh, consider that amount calculated is um, one 
eight nine seven so what will what it will do is it will round it to the one eight nineteen hundred most likely okay or if not nineteen hundred it will most likely round it to one eight nine nine something like that okay basically just use for rounding rounding the figure that the total figure basically and next we have as a statistical component now if you make any salary component as a statistical component what it means is that this particular component won't be added in a salary structure now let me show you I'll go to the salary structure and I'll click on new salary structure so you see we have earnings and we have deductions over here now if I make this particular salary component as a statistical component what will happen is I won't be able to add this particular component into earnings or into deductions over here so why this particular like what's the use of it is basically you can reference this particular component in another salary component like let's say you have a home rent allowance and you want to calculate home rent allowance based on uh, this component like however let's say I specify the amount to be 1000 here uh, amount is 1000 okay so what I can do is I can use this particular salary component in another salary component using this abbreviation over here okay we'll see this later now I'll I don't want this component to be a statistical so I'll just not check it and then we have do not include in total so uh, let's say like there are some extra benefits that you have um, so we have a CTC right cost to company so for example if you're using company cars and all of that so this will be added in that salary component like it won't be uh, monthly but it will be like depending upon the usage that's how it is okay and disabled is basically you don't want to use this component anywhere so you'll use disabled now flexible benefits what what I'll do is we'll come back to this one later again so now let's see what what else you can do is you can add a company now adding a company is really important without adding a company you won't be able to create salary slip so it is really important and also adding account is also important so let's select any account over here so what uh, company and account is basically whenever you create a company in the ERP next all these accounts are also created automatically so for them you need to add it all right now next one here we have is a condition and we have the amount specified over here so condition is like um, you can add various conditions such as here I'll say that this salary component should only be applied if the base salary is greater than 35,000 okay now when I say this base what I mean is wait a second I'll go to salary structure assignment so if you see in salary structure assignment we have these two components here one is base and one is variable so the base that I referred is this one so after you create a salary component and after you created a salary structure you need to do a salary structure assignment over here like you can see that this is the employee I have selected and I'll select any one salary structure and I'll specify the base amount over here so uh, like what's the condition I've written I've written it as a base should be greater than uh, 35,000 so if I write 25,000 over here and if I try to add this particular salary structure um, this won't be this component won't be added okay so because of this particular condition I hope this is clear um, okay now next one is the amount so if if the amount is like it's not calculated based on any formula so you can just directly specify the amount directly over here like 45,000 is this basic amount okay and if you want to specify it based on the formula so you can also do that so let's say I'm, I've added a base of 25,000 over here or let's say I'll add 10,000 as a base okay so what you want to do is now you want to calculate the salary as um, base in 2.1 so based on this one like based on whatever the base salary is on that basis this particular amount will be calculated now you will be understanding this in a much better way when we will be doing salary structure okay so for now what I'll do is I'll remove this one because I want the amount to be fixed so let's say I add for the 45,000 okay and I'll just save it 
okay so now this particular salary component is enabled and you can use the salary component in any salary structure for example if I go to the salary structure now and if I select on new salary structure and you can see that in earning components I should be getting this salary component that I just created base pay one right yeah over here you can see base pay one and if I select on it the values will be automatically fetched such as this total amount and since it did not have any formula it, would, it won't be included at all okay now next we have is let's see one of them is the flexible benefit that we will see in some time uh, for example health benefits I have created as a flexible benefit one okay you can see that I have added is flexible benefit so let's just go through it once again now as you see that everything is same over here we have um, type over here and then I have just selected is tax applicable and so once you select is flexible benefit what you need to add is the maximum benefit amount yearly so I have added 10,000 so in the salary structure like in the salary sleep this 10,000 will be divided by 12 and that particular amount will be included monthly okay and what suppose let's say you want like employee so we also have a benefit claim let's go to benefit claim over here so employee can also basically this flexible benefit salary employee can access it through this health benefits over here okay and uh, that's how it is on then we have this particular uh, section over here such as only tax impact uh, which means that if set the flexible benefit will be a part of taxable income and if you want to create a separate payment entry for this then you can also create it so what we'll do is in the next video we'll be using health benefits and then we'll be using the base pay salary in order to calculate the salary structure okay and I'll just I'll save this now all right one more thing let's see one of the deduction based salary for example this one here so provident fund you can see that it is a type of deduction and this is the component uh, component type and let's say what I'll do is I'll remove this particular condition and I'll add a certain amount like I'll add 2000 over here okay so this was all about the salary component I hope it is very clear so basically this uh, this section doesn't end here we also have a salary structure and all of that which is equally important and thank you so much for watching